What's up guys, Jay here, and today I'm bringing you a transition tutorial on After Effects CS5. So let's get to it. So first off, you're going to want to import your footage. You can double click right here in the project area. And I'm going to grab this one, and this one. And then you hold control if you want to choose multiple files. But a lot of people already know that. So yes, yes. Alright, so you're going to want to click Composition, New Composition and choose a number that's around twice the size of one of your clips. So this one's 10 seconds, so I'm going to choose 20. So bring in one, and then bring in the other, and then move the bottom one to the right to where there's a little bit of space right here. How uh, the top layer overlaps the bottom layer. Alright, so perfect. And then if you want to, you can trim it to make it perfect by moving that and then right clicking and then trim comp to work area. Okay, so now you're going to want to click on the rectangle tool and it's also the masking tool and then you're going to want to draw some rectangles. See there's one and here's two and then three. Alright, so now you're going to want to go to a point where the top layer is over the bottom layer, and then go to your first mask, and then click the keyframe button. And now you're going to want to go ahead a little bit to around the end of the top layer clip, and then make sure you're on the selection tool. You can click V or you can go up here and click on it and then double click on the top right one and then hold shift and then drag it to the left you can also drag it above or the right or even below but I'm going to do the left right now so this is what we got alright so it moves to the left alright so that's the first mask now use your keyframe button to go to the first one and then go to your second mask and then click the keyframe on your second mask and then go to the second one second keyframe over here and then you're going to want to move the second mask into the around the same area as the first one so now this is what you got. You got two moving over there now. Alright, so go back to the first one. The first one, these two are the first. And then go to your third mask. And then click your keyframe. And then use this button again to go to the second one. And then you're going to double click on this once again. And then hold shift and then go to the right this time though. So now what you got is this. It's simple but very good looking and a lot of people are using it. So let's take another preview with that. If it'll go anytime. Alright so and to render it out these are my render settings. Alright so add a render queue and then click on lossless. And go, for the format you're going to want to choose the H264 which is also an MP4 and then for format options, uh, the target bitrate is going to be 8 megabytes per second, and then the maximum is 10, and then that's fine. And then audio if you want, you know, sound. So OK. And then export, you know, comp one is fine. And then render it out. OK, so it's done rendering, and I will now show you what the final video is going to look like. So here we go. Alright, there we go. So thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. And if there's any other tutorial requests that you might have, uh, send me a message or leave a comment. 
And as always, thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.